guys, it's Brian Paul sitting here in VR as always, and I'm playing Windlands. You know why? Because we got an awesome move patch today. So, uh, I gotta be honest, I was playing this game recently with a DualShock 4, and I was like, wow, I can't believe they're patching this with move, because it already plays so perfectly. Like, why would you want to screw with it? So, uh, so I wasn't really looking forward to the move uh, update because I, I just thought it was going to screw it up. Remember when Quantic Dream added move support to Heavy Rain? Well, yeah, that, that wasn't good. So here we are, and this was a launch game, and now it has move controls. Uh, and I got to say, uh, there's a lot of buttons here. Look, I mean, the, these on the right one, you can turn right and left with the, the bottom two face buttons. On the left controller, you're strafing left and right. Uh, walking backwards with the triangle and jumping with the oh, no moving forward with the butt jump uh, there's so many things to remember and then of course fire the hooks now i'm gonna screw up a lot because this is even though i've been playing this for about a half an hour or so i'm it hasn't quite registered in my brain uh how i need to play this but yeah, i'm starting to get better so let me uh take you guys on a little a little move controlled tour uh oh, I forgot to jump. There we go. There we go. A little bit of a hop and jump here. That'll get us on the ledge. Uh-oh. I can't pull myself away. Uh, I, you know, just to be fair, I, I wasn't terribly good at this game with the DualShock 4 either. Um, but it's one of those, the more time you spend with it, the more you get a handle on those controls. Uh, so. And I, and I would, I think at this point, I'm already ready to say that this is definitely uh, my preferred my preferred way to play this game. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't take too long to get acclimated to the controls um, enough to play. Um, obviously, a little more precision something I, I need to learn like I just need to it's weird because you're turning left and right and you like kind of learn to tap see how this is like I'm tapping uh, and that's because the analog stick is you know missing in action I, I know Sony needs to make uh, move sticks with analog analog uh, built in but this is what we have for right now and I think these guys did a phenomenal job of implementing hey, look at that just what I wanted uh, they did a fantastic job at implementing uh, the controls into this. So, uh, ooh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. Now, if you if you ever wanted to feel like Spider-Man, like swinging around, uh, you know, web sw web slinging. This is exactly, exactly the game you're looking for. There we go, I'll get this over here. Obviously I'm playing on easy mode so that I can uh, latch onto everything. I really don't know how to play this game on the harder modes. Because uh, you can only t latch onto trees on the harder modes. Um, obviously there's plenty of trees around, but, but man. Certainly, a whole lot more dying on the harder difficulties. All right. All right. So now that we've made it a little bit into the let's play, sort of, uh, sort of hung out with me and checked out this for a second. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys watch the uh, the Midnight Games Cast, uh, our weekly podcast, but if you do, you know that we're giving away a copy of this game on the podcast this week. Well, I also would like to give away a copy right now. So what I want what I want you guys to do, what I want you to do is, uh, oh no, no, you can stop talking. What I want you to do is, I want you to click the like button, 
And once we get up to 100 likes, uh, I'm going to look at the comments. So make sure you leave a comment too. It doesn't matter. If you leave a comment, I'll know you want the game. Uh, so leave a comment, click the like button. After 100 likes, I will use a random number generator and I will pick a comment at random and I will get in touch with you and give you uh, a Windlands code so that you can give this game a shot. Because honestly, I don't, I, I'm so shocked that this hasn't made one of our top 10 lists yet because it's it's pretty phenomenal and with move controls now it's it's so immersive and oh man i feel like i'm falling this is real bad oh there we go oh i highly highly recommend this game this is phenomenal and again it, it'll take some time to get used to these controls um I saw somebody on Reddit today say that uh, they thought Bethesda should take a look at what these guys did with the move controls, because obviously, you know, Skyrim will be great with move controls, but we, none of us want to use teleportation. So, so the fact that it didn't take me too long to get used to this is a pretty good sign. I, uh, I, yeah, I would not mind these controls at all in, in Skyrim or potentially Fallout 4 if that, is, if that rumor tends, uh, turns out to be true. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just going to jump and see what happens. Yeah, this, is, this is just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun to swing around and to really feel like you're in control of these grappling hooks. I do a lot of that when it comes to uh, trying to make my way up the sides of walls. Uh, I'm sure it's not the most elegant way to play this game. <laughs> but it'll have to do for the time being. This is this is phenomenal. I, I I don't have I don't have too much to say about it. What what kind of wowed me, I guess, when I first turned it on was, uh, you know, sometimes when you have the move controllers in your hand, like they'll do like one of these things, like they'll move in and out a little bit. Uh, these are like super steady. They're very very responsive. Oh, definitely one to one. I mean, I can't. <laughs> they are very very responsive. These guys did a phenomenal job implementing this. Uh, I had no idea that it could be done this well, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. So if you don't already have Windlands uh, and, and you're not uh, too prone to motion sickness, you should definitely give it a shot. Ooh, what is that? I need to get over onto that ledge. Let's do that before we end this video. And that's what this game is all about, really. It's, it's certainly exploration-based, and uh, it's all about just around and trying to find whatever you can. Hmm. This is uh, maybe not the best way to go about this. So let's, let's turn around, get on top of these trees. All right, are we getting closer? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do a running jump. Running jumps are just so much fun. I mean, actually get to where you want to go with them. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's going on? Do a little maneuvering here to get around this ledge. And we're going to get to the top of it. There we go. Alright, not too bad. Alright guys, uh, so like I said, I totally want to give away a copy of this game, so make sure you leave a comment, click the like button, and as soon as we hit 100 likes, I'll give away a copy of Windlands now with move support. That's it, guys. So much stuff to cover today, so uh, I'm, I'm not going to mess around with this any longer. Uh, but I wish I could because this is a fantastic way to play the game, probably the way that I'll do it from now on. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Brian Paul. I love you all.